Hey everyone, I'm joined by Scott Wasson from AMD. And Scott, you have some updates we're going to be talking about today. Yes. So we're filming this before, before the embargo lift, but you'll see this when news goes live. And I think, will the driver be available on the day that this news goes live? Should be, yes. OK, so what we've got then, uh, some updates to overclocking on AMD video cards. That should actually be pretty interesting for a lot of you. And then some, uh, some other tools, like you have these three advisors, you call them now. And we're going to go over those today and show off what all of the new software in the Radeon suite does. Before that, this video is brought to you by Thermaltake's Core P3 case. The Core P3 is one of the most unique cases on the market. It can serve as an open air standing chassis, a test bench in vertical or horizontal orientation, or as a wall mounted showcase PC. The Core P3 now comes with a five millimeter thick tempered glass panel for its side, but keeps the front, top, and back open for air. The Core P3's versatility as a display piece, test bench, or standard desktop is reinforced by its price of roughly $110 on Amazon. You can learn more at the link in the description below. So, uh, Scott, let's start with overclocking stuff just to, to get the core audience really interested in what's going on with the Radeon update. I don't know. Do you want to start with uh, it's Wattman? Yes, of course. Radeon Wattman. It's Wattman. Yeah. still Wattman. But it's gotten updates, and one of those... Probably the fan temperature curve is the most interesting to start with. So what's changed there? Yeah, well, there are a number of things that we changed. This is Radeon Software Adrenaline 2019 edition, I should say. So new driver coming out. And um, there are a number of different controls that we've added, mostly user requested. Mm -hmm. And one of the biggest ones was the fan curve control. So you can control you know, temperature versus fan speed. You can set points and, and it will you know, do what you want instead mm -hmm. of, in the past, it was, was a simpler control. Also for Polaris cards that have zero fan speed option, mm -hmm. you can actually turn that Some off the, if you want and control partner that. cards. Yep. yep. Yeah, so previously, if you haven't used an AMD card in a while or you never used Wattman, the, uh, as I remember, the temperature and fan dial was basically a minimum and a maximum. Right. Right. So the update now is there's actually a full curve. Uh, where you can set a, a temperature and then RPM curve. It's pretty useful, and yeah. uh, especially for people who are very focused on silence or something like that. Other than that, the one that I'm most interested in was the overclocking changes. So there's, there's a little bit of change. We haven't gotten to play with it today, but when this video goes live, we'll probably have something up. And uh, that was memory timing tuning. So, right. I mean, should we? how do you want to cover that? You've got a couple options there for... Uh, tightening the timings, we think? Yeah. OK, so w what does that do now? Well, it gives you the option of going in and making some changes and tweaking and then seeing how the performance looks mm -hmm. without having to go through the rigmarole of modifying biases and things <laughs> like that that people have done in the past. right? So this gives people an extra measure of control. Um, so they have that. And we also have uh, some auto mm -hmm. functions. right? So you can auto overclock the GPU, where it will actually run a little test. and very conservatively, but you know, automatically mm -hmm. set the GPU speed higher. You can auto overclock the memory, so you can hit a button and get higher memory clock as well. And then there's an auto undervolt, uh, right? As well. So, so when are you when are you going to use AI that can beat me? <laughs> I don't know. We, that... we we need to take your brain yeah. and, and figure out how we can put it into some AI into a jar. Right, right. <laughs> so we get we get your brain in a jar and we get some developers right. and yeah, we'll figure <laughs> out mix it together. Yeah. So like any auto overclocking feature, we've shown these before in the past. And if you do a true man versus machine, typically for now the human contender will will win. But the goal isn't really to be better than someone who's a tryhard. Right. The goal is to be a decent foundation for someone who actually doesn't care to do any of that. Right. So uh, we'll play with that. I haven't worked with it today, but we'll, we'll play around with it, see how well it does. I think my current understanding is uh, some of it might use a, like a lookup table or something like that for volt frequency dialing or tuning. Right. Um, and then are there any other changes overclock inside we should go over before? Uh, yeah, so Vega cards, mm. we have uh, all the DPM states exposed instead of just the, the top ones. Yeah, that's so a you good get change. more control over that. Yeah. Um, and then another thing is, you know, right now, uh, Wattman has been in Radeon settings for quite a while. Mm. And we are actually extending where you can go and do the overclocking. If you're in a game, you can now bring up Radeon Overlay and you get control right there in the game. 
uh, uh, over all those settings. In addition to that, uh, you can use the AMD Link app on a phone or tablet, mm -hmm. iOS or Android, and you can get in and actually control overclocking that way too. So we're trying to give people lots of choices in how they go and test things so that when you're at the overclocking competition, yeah. you can use your phone and <laughs> Dial change it up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so next time you see a, a live stream of me doing another Rip J stream, if I'm, uh, if I'm pulling out my phone, holding it kind of down here, and the scores are going up, then you know why it is. So that's kind of cool. Um, what's also cool, speaking of cheating in competitions, is uh, Game Advisor. So Game Advisor has, is it Game Advisor, or is it just Relive? It might just be Relive, where you can do the, the instant replay now. Relive has relive instant change? replay, yeah. So Relive, uh, we covered it in the past, and overall liked it at the time we reviewed it better than Shadowplay. And as I understand it, Relive still does not require an email to use. That's right. right. Which, well, we won't talk about that. But it doesn't require an email to use. So it's got an instant replay feature now. Well, is the idea just, I mean, you capture the footage and then you can play it back uh, as an overlay on top of the game? Right, right. So as you're playing, you die spectacularly. You want to see you know, the little giblets <laughs> bouncing around right. again. You hit the button and you get a replay or of the last 15 seconds. Kill around. cam. Yes. In games yeah. that don't have kill cam. Right. So right. use that how you will <laughs> to get an <laughs> advantage. Um, so that's kind of interesting too. But what we can show here today, uh, so you've got Game Advisor, you have Upgrade Advisor. Yes. And is it Settings Advisor? Is that yes. the last one? So let's, just, let's show Game Advisor first. Sure. OK. And, and these, I'll, I'll uh, sort of preface this by saying these are sort of higher level functions. So you know, if you're really into settings tuning, then it may not apply to you, but uh, for people who find this kind of stuff confusing because they're new to it, it could be useful there. Right. So. That's the idea with the advisors is to make it easy for folks who maybe aren't experienced with tweaking or, or right. setting things up themselves. And there's yeah. a lot of that with uh, new people coming into the space from Fortnite and things like that too. So Yeah. So you've launched Assassin's Creed. I have attempted to do so. It's coming <laughs> up. Yeah. So we've got Assassin's Creed open. And what are we, we going to work with first for Game Advisor? All right, so we're going to bring it up by hitting Alt-R to bring up the overlay. And then we click on Game Advisor. And it says basically what this tool is going to do, which is going to watch as you play the game and monitor the performance of your system. So we hit Start Monitoring. And then we just play the game. And it's sort of watching your performance as you play. So this, the idea here is on your system, as you really play a game, as you're doing things, we're going to look at how, how it's performing. So it's very hyper-local, very tailored to your system. We'll give you a readout then of you know, how you're doing. Right. So we've got FPS on the top right and frame time. We have a separate video on that entirely if you're curious about what that means. And uh, I think now we're just going to watch Scott run around on a horse for 50 seconds <laughs> and we'll cut ahead to the, <laughs> to the next step. So we're approaching the end of the test period here, and you can see we're about done counting down. OK. So when this finishes. It says, your performance report is now ready. So we just pop back into the overlay, go to Game Advisor, and you can actually get a look at our performance here uh, as we were playing. So we averaged 47.9 FPS, which is 95th percentile frame time at 24 milliseconds. Mm. Um, and you can see the frame time plot over yeah, time cool. with, with yeah. a few spikes, and then by percentile. And actually, you can grab a piece of it and zoom in if you want to see just a piece of mm -hmm. the uh, OK. The and result. so for frame times, we've got uh, frame interval, the period on the left axis, right. and then just time on the, on the x axis. Yeah. Cool. So what do you do from here? I and mean, what do you so do with this information? This says it has five recommendations, OK? It says your, your system's performance in this game could be improved. So we really are pushing this system a little bit hard. So this, this comes up with some recommendations for things you could do to improve the performance of this game on this system. And it's simple stuff, you know, decrease the image quality preset from ultra mm. to high, um, or uh, turn down advanced rendering options like anti-aliasing and ambient occlusion, or reduce the render scale, things like that. Mm. And once you're done, you test again. So you can go into the game, you can go back and, and you play for another 90 seconds. Play again and then sort so, of see So how really you what this is, is uh, the AMD driver team wanted an excuse to play games 
for 90 seconds at a time. Oh, we've always got excuses to play games, <laughs> but, but this is a good one. This is a good one. All right. And, and you know, if your performance is actually very high, this thing will say, hey, here's some things you could do to improve image quality as well. So okay. it's, it's sort of helping people balance mm -hmm. between those two things and try and find a sweet spot. Right. right. So what's, what's the next tool you have then? Okay, well, we got to get out of the game here, and I can show you the next one. So the next tool is a, a related but different thing called Radeon Settings Advisor. So you just go into Radeon Settings, you hit this little icon up mm. here, um, and it will show you, based on your system's capabilities, uh, some things that you maybe don't have enabled that mm. you maybe ought to have enabled in order to get the best gaming experience. So the example here, uh, we don't have Enhanced Sync enabled, we don't have mm. Radeon Chill, we don't have uh, very, or, uh, virtual super resolution, we don't have free sync enabled, right? So let's say this, this thing is going to recommend you turn all these on, you get a better experience. Let's say that we decided we don't want to turn chill on because we don't really want to save power. We always want to go as fast as we possibly sure. could. I think chill is great, but say that's... But the that's point. what I would say. Right. <laughs> so, so then you can just hit apply and it will go and it will very quickly okay. implement all those things at once and then you're good. And then the last one right. is upgrades, right? Yeah, upgrade advisor. And this one is, is kind of neat. This will show you, and you can see right here, um, you've got some games installed on your system. We know what they are. It will show you uh, how your GPU and CPU match mm -hmm. up to the minimum and required specs for those games. Now, in this case, we've got a laptop with the Vega in it, mm -hmm. and so it's actually going to meet all the recommended specs for sure. all the games. So, but but you can see. But if it uh, if it doesn't, if you're running maybe a 270 or something, or 7270, you might see uh, what is it a yellow mark for you meet minimum but not recommended. Right. And then red is you don't meet minimum. Right. And you can actually there's a little drop down here. You can look at the different options. For, well, it only has one right now because we're already at yeah yeah pretty close to the best thing that you can get. Right, so sure. there aren't any higher options By AMD beyond standards. That. Yeah. Right, right. So you've got a yeah CPU drop down as well, not just GPU. Right. Uh, cool. Okay. Um, so beyond this, there are other updates to all the software as well, and we'll have either an article or a video talking about some of those. I'm planning to, to maybe test a few of them. Like, uh, I'm looking forward to really testing the overclocking stuff and seeing what if we see performance differences, what kind of performance differences. So check back for that content. If it's already up, we'll put it in the description below. Otherwise, subscribe to make sure you catch it. And Scott, I mean, anything you wanna you wanna point them towards the driver? Like, what is what is this one called again? This is uh, Adrenaline 2019 edition. It's yeah. available at amd.com uh, by the time you see this. Yeah, so yeah. grab it if you've got AMD. Let us know what you think. And Scott, thank you for joining me. You bet. Anytime. We'll see you all next time.